Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 8th episode of my vlog. At the start of the series I've called it a vlog and I've been calling it a vlog ever since. But now that I think of it, it's probably not even a vlog. A vlog is basically someone who's been talking into the camera about his life or just about anything. I think what these movies are, are more like guides. So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 8th episode of my guides. I am Morana and today I will show you how I hunt at the Orc Fortress. But before we get to that I want to talk about a few things first. Firstly I want to thank you guys for being so kind to me. I've gotten quite a few private messages from people who told me they missed my guides and asked me when I'm making a new one. Also just on my YouTube page but mostly in private messages. I really like hearing that you guys like what I'm doing. Or at least some of you do. It may sound a bit dramatic and stuff, but I really like the positive feedback so far. Thank you guys for that. Secondly, Burrelito, it's a pretty impossible name to pronounce, so sorry if I didn't get it right, asked how many bolts and mana potions I usually take with me on a hunt, and how he could get to the worm spawn in Liberty Bay. Since I do not have a premium account right now, I cannot show you myself. Here we have a map of Liberty Bay. Near the center of it we have the depot. When you're at the depot and you head to the east, you basically run into the first steps to get to the worms. I don't think the steps still look exactly the same, I think Thimbia ML uses an outdated map, but the idea is pretty much the same. If you're at the first step, you can also head north, there's a second step. This step I would advise to take, because you're much less likely to find a full spawn there. Also, there's a much more room to run around in case you need to clean the spawn first. The third thing I wanted to talk about are premium scrolls. I was looking for a summer update teaser on tbia.com when I saw this. I was disgusted at first and I thought Sipsoft had degraded itself to a new low. After free mounts and outfits, when you buy premium, now this? Then I thought it might be very effective against gold spammers and farmers. If Sipsoft has the market of real currency to Tibia currency in its own hands, there's no more need for the other companies to sell gold illegally. I still don't like the direction Tibia is going at all, but I don't think it's that bad anymore. I mean, deep down I still want the good old days of 7.4 back, but that's not going to happen anyway. So what do you guys and girls think of premium scrolls? Are they the solution to gold spammers, or is it just another way for Sipsoft to milk their cash cow? which I think is dying anyway. Alright, I think I've done enough talking already, let's get to the action. The Orc Fortress The Orc Fortress lies somewhere northeast of Finor and east of Abdendriel. The Orc Fortress is mainly inhabited by, yeah, you guessed it, Orcs. The main reason I show you this hunting spot is because I've ran out of premium time and I'm not swimming in the money and time lately, so I'll stay free account for a while. To hunt here properly as a paladin, I guess you have to be level 50 first. Before you reach level 50, you can of course easily kill an orc berserker already, but to take on multiple at once, combined with an orc leader, you might need the health and the firepower. Before you start hunting here, it's advisable to bring a few parcels and to finish the post officer's quest. The reason for that is that orc berserkers drop a lot of halberds, which you can sell for 400 gold each. This will be your main profit. Profit is really the only thing that you will want to be here for. I've hunted here for an hour or two and my experience rate was around 60k per hour. Of course, as a free account I did not have the experience buff and I had to share the place with half of Finor, but still. Maybe I'm just spoiled by being used to premium areas, but I don't think 60k per hour is that good for a level 90-ish. For a level 50 it's pretty decent though.
a certain point I just decided to stay in the same place to avoid running into freshly cleared spawns. This worked pretty well for me. I chose the little garden underground to pull the mobs to, since there were a few trees that you can run around. This way I had a nice supply of orc warlords, leaders and berserkers. If you have never killed a warlord before and you check Rikia, you think it will be a certain death. But actually, they are not that hard at all. The only thing you really have to watch out for is its invisibility. If you just have one chasing you, you probably will be fine. If it turns invisible, just keep running the same pace as you did and it will reappear after a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for this episode. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below or send me a private message. I will try to answer your question directly or feature it in the next episode like I did with Burrito. If you liked what you see, please hit the like button and if you wish to see more in the future, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, you can check out the last episode of my guides. In this guide I show you how I hunt the worms in Liberty Bay. The other video is a new little project of me where I play and commentate my way through Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Alright, then there's nothing more to do for me here except for wishing you a nice day and see you next time.